Congratulations, you're thinking about buying a metal engraving laser. You've seen a whole bunch of ads, really flashy stuff from marketing companies talking about these lasers. Well, there's a few things that you need to know. First, can you get additional lenses and why would you need one? Well, the one that I'm holding right here is a 70 millimeter lens, meaning that if you're going to engrave something that is 70 millimeters by 70 millimeters, this is the optimal lens. Well, the lenses go up to about 300 millimeters. The distance from the lens to the material has to be adjusted, which is why like on this Houghton laser right here, there has an adjustable tower. Some of the machines that are out there have one fixed focal distance. I saw one yesterday, you had to slide, it, slide the material in underneath a certain guardrail. Can you even get another lens for it? Is the bed large enough to do what you want to do? These are just the questions you'd want to ask. If you go to companies like Houghton, EMP, uh, one laser's coming out with one right now, you can find these out. I'm not calling the other lasers bad. I'm just saying, know what you get before you buy. Now, you're, this next comment's really kind of funny because I wrote a book on Galvo lasers. It's in Amazon, but there's no reason to buy it. You can come straight into laserfreedom.us and ask me a question if you have one, or into Laser Freedom Facebook group. Ask myself or a bunch of other people that already own these machines and know the differences about what would be best for the job you want to do. Nobody makes a bad machine, but you want to get the best machine for what you have planned to do. Thank you.